Rockin' Styles is an event that celebrates legacy, history. There's pillars in the community that lay the bricks down in order for us to have what we have now. Every year we have a panel discussion with celebrated pioneers, major contributors from the Boston community, as well as pillars and communities from around the globe. This year was especially special because I feel like these brothers, they, they like the blueprint of all this shit. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, they couldn't be here today, but I wanna share the honor and respect for Boston's own, the Wonder Twins. Make some noise. Literal trailblazers from super young. They told me their first show was when they was nine years old. It was a talent show that featured Curtis Blow. What? Yep. Like, come on now. <laughs> they don't know who Curtis Blow is. They don't know. I don't think they know who Curtis Blow is. <laughs> And this is why history is so important. Freestyle is a term that I leaned into to celebrate all styles of black dance. Intuitive dance from black people, from black communities, from black culture. Popping, locking, hip hop. Flexing, breaking, turfing, chooking, beaching feet, every dance hall, every style from black culture. There was a time where they didn't consider what we did dance because it didn't have the structure that they wanted, account. Until they got to the club. And then they took what they saw at the club and performed it on the main stage. And then all of a sudden it was dance because they did it. There's an initiative to celebrate that, to restore credit. Because there's a lot of credit that wasn't given. And it's my personal mission to make sure that especially people from our city get their, their pay due. So I need all of my stack in Boston OGs, all my OGs that's in the building right now, come up on the stage. We got Megatron. We got the founder of the Florida Lords crew in the building. I see El Nino in here. I see Russ in the get your get your butt up here. <laughs> He's like, Rip, get up on the stage. Rip off, get up on the stage. Boston Crump. We got snow in the house. Get up on the stage. We got chat in the building. Get up on the stage. Let's go. The last two people that I want to shout out and bring to the stage. Listen, we stand on shoulders. We're able to do what we do because we stand on shoulders of the people who put the work in. Yeah. Stacking Styles is a concept-based freestyle dance battle. Before I could put this together, there were people who pioneered this, this, this uh, format. And I have them there with me today. I've been, I've been shouting them out. I've been incorporating them in the program because that's how you do it. You don't just see something that inspires you and you just take it and say, I'm just going to do it this way and you know what I'm saying, I'm not going to give the credit. You give the credit. You bring them into it. You say, yo, these are the people that inspire me to do this shit. You feel me? Yeah. So I need Rashad yes. and Oscar Pop on the stage yes. right now. Yes. Rashad created Book of Styles. That's his brain baby. No doubt. Which pioneered this format of battles, which did inspire Jack of All Trades. If y'all haven't been to Jack of All Trades, yo, y'all need to be there. And if y'all like this format of battle, yo, y'all need to really uh, give credit to my brother Rashad for real. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got the floor. Every year we do something right, something nice. DJ. We did. <laughs> Normally I would get down medically. I cannot. With all due respect, I appreciate the platform. I do have a five. I still love you. Thank you, Steph. <laughs> Another yo. 
Young OG. <laughs> but yeah, I do have a biopsy operation tomorrow, so I gotta take care of my body. You know what I'm saying? But much love and blessings to everybody. Respect. He definitely would. I want y'all to know two things. This brother right here is nothing but one of Boston's greatest. When the torch was dropped, listen, when the torch was dropped, this brother said, I'm going to put Boston on my back. And he did that. Yo, he didn't ask for no help. He didn't ask for no one to pity him or none of that. He treads the waters through hate, through disrespect, and everything else. And he has accomplished what other cats were afraid to do. This My man Stickity Stacks. Yes, sir. Last thing, I'm going to shut the hell up. These two brothers right here, I watched them grow from this. I say it all the time, I don't care, man. Shut up. Hey, listen. Yo, these two cats, I watched them grow from young cats up here battling just like y'all to being sinister young OGs, man. And what they've done in their own state and country, yeah. put on events that are worldwide. That means that they picked up the torch and put their country and their state on their back. Period. Just like Stiggity. Let's go. You guys gotta start doing the same thing yourself up and continue to represent hip-hop in a real way, in a positive way, yes. in an energetic way. The Flow Lords did it first back in 1981. 81, that's right. I'm an OG for real. I'm a real one. I'm a real one, for real. I've been doing this since 77. All right? So with that being said, if I can still be doing that from 77, you cats can keep this going, and it's what it's all about. Right here in Boston, all the way to DC, to all the way to Montreal, and worldwide. So give it up for Stacks, and let's get this thing going. So, I'm gonna start with, I'm trying to fight tears so heavy, it's crazy. Uh, full circle moment right now, right? Like. 22, I was 22, you don't even respect number one, that was in 2006, you don't even respect number two, was in 2007. That's right, brother. I came up here as a young boy, really, and I competed in the battle that Megatron and Shallow threw. The first year I won, the second year I lost. But what's crazy about it, it was a different set of judges, but the two same finalists, me and Junior Boogaloo, That's right. who at that time was my age now, which is crazy. So I was the young gun on the block. But to go further back, when I was 17, I bought my first VHS tape. It was B-Boy Pro-Am. And it had Domino, rest in peace. Yes! Yes! Rest in peace, that OG. And I was in my basement in New York trying to do these glides. Shout out to this move. You know the one I'm talking about. I was trying to do that shit so hard, it was crazy. So. <sighs> we love you, baby. Yeah, full circle, right? Damn. <laughs> I'm here because of this dude. That's right.
few years back, I dropped my crew, I dropped my company, out here, like, what's next? I joined this program, humbly, we got like a 10 year difference in age, I'm a bit older, and I'm in Norway, like, yo, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Uh, I don't know how to run this business, for real. I don't know, I need camaraderie, I need solidarity. In my mind, I had uh, brothers in solidarity, right? So humbly, I called them, I was like, yo, can you help me? My finances is all over the place. I've been doing it a while, I feel embarrassed, and I had to come with my <laughs> head down, like, yo, hello. And uh, this shit worked. Yeah. Yeah. It's still a process, right? Like, it's still hard. I still got a lot of work to do, and that's okay, I'm here for it. But seasonally, right? B was like, welcome home, black man. Okay. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> the support was just so grand, it was so much, like, wholesome. First time coming back to Boston with Stacking Styles, 2019, I judged. Rascal Randy was the winner that year. Keenan was jumping off the stage doing crazy shit. But I felt connected again, like, but again, it goes back, it circles back, right? Like, you see, we're in a circle right now. You feel that collected energy that we have? Like, this is so important. You know, this is so spiritual, it's crazy. It's what you gotta ask. And a lot of us ask for a community. We want to do all this stuff. You got to show up for it. That's right. Like, I traveled the world. Like, I came back from Montreal and came here. Same. My home came here. You know what I'm saying? We were at the same joint, right? Next week, Copenhagen. Then Tokyo. But I come back home. You know what I mean? Like, and my home is not a space. It's a people. And that's my tribe. It's more than movement. I'm not gonna talk too much longer, but like, know that this shit is real and all y'all are part of it, whether you know it or not. We love you, black man. Yo. <laughs> so, thank you, thank all of y'all. Y'all are fucking I'm gonna keep this one uh, very genuine. I know we're on time, bro. But I, I, I haven't said much to you in a minute, so I'm gonna say it for now, everybody. Okay? Listen, we started Boston Crump together. I was a teenager, 15, starting Crump. Nobody knew what this was. They was hating on it. I was in the cafeteria of Boston Arts Academy, putting together sessions, right? And I've had friends, you know what I'm saying, that come into this game and, you know, they claim to be, but this man is. This is my twin, you know what I'm saying? This is my brother. Stacks right here, listen, I met him, you know, he's not too much younger than me, but that's still cool. <laughs> But when I met him, he was a mature, at a mature age, at like a very young age, and it was like fascinating. And he's taught me a lot, I've taught him a lot. We've exchanged, we've argued, we've battled. We've argued, we've battled. We've argued. You know what I'm saying? This is my brethren, and I'm gonna keep it short and simple, bro. Everybody sees that energy. And it's never a hate, it's all love. Yeah. No matter where I've been, I will never ever be your superior, but me and you are brothers.
to thank each and every one of you all for being very, very supportive of my son. Yes. Very, very supportive. I thank you each and every one of you that are here. I, I just, I'm lost for words. I'm really lost for words because my baby did it. Yeah. Let's go! 